What's up guys? Welcome to the vlog of the junkyard where we come and we don't find what we want, but we make new friends. Enjoy. I saw it, it's we are at the junkyard. Your boy has got to get a part for the E30. I figured come along the journey y'all. Um, slight problem. I don't have a mask though. No mask. I barely found enough dollars to go ahead and make it in the damn junkyard. And there's also another E30 guy here. So hopefully he didn't take the part. Cause I'll fire on that nigga. I'll suck him in his throat. I figured this would be fun, you know? We all go to the junkyard together like a little family. And plus like it's always cool to go to the junkyard and see what they got. Um, I already looked on the website and seen the car that they have. We'll see if it's still here. Hopefully they don't press my shit. And they, they tell me that I need a mask. Like, hopefully I'm okay. Hello. Hi. I you got, got a face mask? Fuck. No. Yeah, if you don't wear a face mask, they're not going to give you a survey no, from the cashier. No. Okay, do you have one or? No. Alright, your boy got a mask. Now, hopefully we can get in. I'm debating if I should take you guys with me or I should just switch you guys onto my iPhone because it's a little bit less intimidating when you have this big ass rig. So I think I'm going to just take my phone in there. I see you guys a different quality. I'll just smuggle you guys in the tool bag. There we go. I figured I'll just take the camera instead. I'm a YouTuber, I have to own this shit. Being a little insecure though, I'm just talking to my tool bag. If you guys have ever been in the junkyard, it look, kind of looks like this. Imagine owning a junkyard. You could build any car you want. Just use parts from other parts. How many times do you guys go to the junkyard trying to find the part? And the part's gone. On a side note, I kind of want one of these. A 190E, 300E. Just these ones. I'm thinking about it. This is E90 right here. What the fuck is the car? <gasps> I see a hood facing forward. You know what that means? It's a cool BMW. Is that a Prius? What the fuck? A Prius is in the junkyard. It was a Prius. E34! Ah, uh, it's an early model because it's blue interior. Holy shit, cloth interior. Who the hell does this to cloth interior? What the fuck? <laughs> Who rips cloth interior like this? It's a stick shift. So confused, but I don't want to look yet. Look at these door panels. Holy shit. Damn, this is like a, a deal for, like I would totally rock this, but my question is why blue interior, why cloth? I think it's an early model, so it has to be 525. Let's just check, yeah, it's, a, it's an early model. So 190E, this is something that I want. How many is one, two, three, four, five, six. Straight six. This fuck's all this though. Some carburetor shit. Our fuel injected. Not sure, I do not know nothing about these cars. I know damn well they look good though. Interior is flawless. Damn. Hey, your boy might be in a 190E. And the key's in here. Actually, I'm already in a 190E. This is my shit. I'm taking this key with me. Colorado, totally awesome. Hey, fuck you, whoever junked this car. We should have kept it live. Sell this shit. Well, what do you know? I turned it off from the 190E. This is what I'm here for. Honestly, I don't know why I'm here. Fucking brake booster's gone. Tranny better be here. Fucking transmission's gone too. This was a 535 and it had a manual trans. <laughs> I was so excited. I even brung you guys. And now I got to... I'm keep this then. No, no, it's broken. Can't keep nothing. <laughs> Turns out the brake booster was there, but it was a different setup on that 735. Your boy couldn't use it, so I was just sitting in the back of E32, bummed out. As I was chilling, bummed out, not knowing what to do all my life, your boy meets this guy named Terry. Terry comes through and we hanging out for a little bit. Until I was age 40, I, I could have cared less about BMWs. And then I had a girlfriend who had a 2002. Nice. And she would never let me drive it. And then one day I had to drive it for her. And I thought, man, this is such a fun car. I should get one for myself. And I started going to junkyard looking for parts. And back in 2000, parts were pretty easy to come by. People were junking them and there wasn't a lot of interest in buying them. I'm pretty bummed out because I didn't find the part I need. What's the other part? A brake booster. 
I didn't find it though. Okay, seven. Terry actually been in the game for 20 years messing with BMWs. And he actually had a couple suggestions what I could do with the brake booster setup. Brake booster. Ah. Hey, good thing I was talking to Terry though, because at that moment when he said brake booster, I remember there was an E90. And that's when it all clicked. You know what? I just remembered. I seen on the post E90 brake booster works. So I'm gonna go check that out. I seen the E90 in here. Okay, I'm gonna go up on yonder over there and look at some other car. But I'm gonna leave the headrest, so I'll be back. If I don't see you, it was nice talking to you, Terry. Yes, Christian, and you have my authorization to post my image. I was gonna ask for that. Appreciate you, man. The only thing sketchy about the E90 brake booster, I wasn't sure if it was gonna work or not. So it was kind of like a little gamble, and your boy don't like to gamble that much. So I figured I'd hop on the internet, do a quick little research, and see what the conclusion comes out to be. It's a lot of contradictions in there. I'm here at E90. The brake booster's here. But I just don't know if it's gonna work. I'm gonna see how they take this off, and see if it's gonna look right. If it looks right, we're taking it. Just gonna see if it works. I'll be back. All right, back. Brake booster acquired. Time to go to the E90 and see if they're similar. If they are. I'm just say pull it and risk it to get the biscuit. Pulling out the brake booster for the E90. Just got the inside done. It's already different. There's two bolts instead of four. Hopefully. How do you guys say come in the junkyard? <laughs> <laughs> fuck man, I hate cars. Why the fuck am I still putting? I've been here for a total of like 20 hours, man. But we'll see if we make it work. According to the internet, somebody already did the setup that I'm going to do, so fucking gave me a little bit of confidence. But we'll see how it goes. See you guys when I see you. Tell me that don't look good. God damn, boy, I'll spank myself silly. Check it out, bam. Check it out, bam. Today wasn't a waste. We did shit today. We're out here solving problems with modern day solutions. In here, we got a brake pedal that's hooked up. That's the E90 Clevis. Dude, this shit worked wonders. If anybody has questions, just comment below and I'll let you know. E90 brake booster for show. I had to do it. You know, the only thing I don't actually like, like if this is permanent, I might fix this. Oh yeah, this actually feels pretty good. I mean, I felt like it will spring back more, you know what I mean? Let me see. You're breaking! <laughs> so, if you're thinking about the E90 brake booster, for sure you should get it. It's way cheaper, easy to find. I would say better performance, just because it's newer. And it was pretty simple. Bye, E30. Until tomorrow. See you guys. The next day. You know, I kind of don't like driving this car like as it is right now just because I want to fix some things. So every time I bring it out, I truly don't even enjoy it. I kind of just like, like ask myself, why am I doing this? <laughs> the more I drive it, the more I feel like I, I need to put some more attention into it. But just for right now, since it's down the street from my house and the fact that I haven't drove a cool car in a long time, we're taking this bad boy. This doggy is coming too. Cause she needs to practice being around people. Now we gotta wash this damn dirty car. So fresh and so clean. Um, Every time I leave this damn car wash, I always gotta spin the tires. Just cause the tires are already wet. But the thing is, just gotta find an opening. Right now it's fine. Here we go on the whip. Oh. Dude, I've been driving a Prius way too much. I honestly been getting the brass driving the damn Prius, but as you just seen, like now my heart is pumping like crazy and so much joy is running through me. You know, I don't even want to wait out to stop like just because I don't want to stop the momentum of going, you know what I mean? So we're on our way to the car wash now. And yeah, boys, yeah, your boy still got wet tires. No more, we gotta come down. We don't wanna get in trouble. The cool thing about this meet, it's pretty chill. There's gonna be a lot of cool cars. It's down the street from my house, which is also pretty cool. We're just pulling up right now.
Shake it off. So far, Mama's is doing great. Uh, we're at we're at the meet, and can I just see your back real quick, Lena? Sheesh, gotta flex on them like that. Hi, David. What's up? What's up? <laughs> Is it what? for you? For me? Just because I like you. Thanks, man. <laughs> yeah, so this is David. We see the Euros. Okay. He always tells me to vlog, but I just never know how to vlog a car meet. I don't think your dog likes me. Oh, she's being a cunt, dude. Okay, so far, Mama's is like still working on socializing with people. Um, she's panicking a little bit, but we made it through the shop. And now we're in the back. And I ate a double You ready to go, Mamash? Mamas is ready. <laughs> Are you ready to go? <laughs> Let's go. Time to go back home, start wrenching on the E30. It turns out that the brake booster that I got didn't work. It doesn't? No. No, I gotta modify it. I wasn't trying to modify it. But whatever. I didn't even show the internet like how I put it in, so now now I can show you guys. If you remember earlier in the video, I was actually complaining how the pedal, it felt like it didn't travel as far as it should, like factory, you know what I mean? I didn't do nothing besides I'd throw it in and bolt it up. I read on the internet that the reason why it feels like that is because this length from the hole to the pedal is short from the E90. So basically, solution is cut and weld, or you can re-tap it and then just thread it on or re-thread it, but I didn't want to do that, so I just tacked it up got it all in and then now i can literally show you how it's been let me give you guys a rundown these are from autozone i bought a brake line i kind of like finessed it to it being how it is this is m12 fitting that goes into the e90 master cylinder and this is a 3 8 because for some reason only autozone had m12 to a 3 8 thread and then we go here to an m10 thread and another m10 like female to the existing brake line so now I have my fluid plugged up and I just got a reservoir. We got this bad boy and this is from a 2002 E10. According to the internet, this should just bolt right in. I was going to relocate this just to make the engine look a little stealth, but I'm not sure yet. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so I didn't know what I was going to do in the beginning. I took these remote fittings where I can like retrofit another brake booster like so, like so and then just run lines to it. Since I got this, this actually plugs in there. I'm actually waiting for the grommets though. We'll see what we can do. I'm just not gonna force it. You guys believe me, right? This sits like this. I just have to change out the grommet to make a smaller hole for this thing. Do I recommend it? Hell yes. The pedal feels good. The only thing that I you have to do for modification is retrofit brake lines into the bigger existing lines and also do something with the clevis, which is like the same thing with the 944. And this is newer, so hopefully it comes with better performance. With that being said, fellas, I'm gonna sign out. This video was like 15 minutes long, <laughs> but I think I'm gonna do more of these because I enjoyed it. I look back at it and I can completely remember everything. Shout out to Terry. Shout out to all the homies helping me with the build. Shout out to you for watching it. I love you. Peace, man. You know what's crazy? Is that I'm able to talk to you, but you're not even here. Wild. The future is now.